Hey there! Before we go into today's videos, I wanted just to remind you that in the description down below I have all the time codes so you can just skip through to the parts of this guide that you want to see. Now back to the video. So, I see. You want to know how to Kokomi in Genshin Impact, huh? Sure then. I'll give you all the tools to do it. So, first off, what I want to start with is her constellations. Since I saw that nobody did that on YouTube, I want to explain you all very quickly what they do. So, as you can all see, I have the C1. What does it do is just that your final base attack. I'm going to show you. Now this, this one. When you're in burst form, you're going to get an extra fish that's just going to deal hydro damage. In general, it does good damage, let's say the same damage or 1k below. So I would say it's a decent uh, constellation if you want more uh, DPS for your Kokomi. Yes, I would advise you to definitely go for it if you really like her. So this is pretty much it, what I've got to say about her C1. Now her C2. Her C2, uh, not really the best. I wouldn't recommend you to get it. Because basically well, all you get is just more healing. 4.5% and 0.6. Like, that's pretty much it. Like, I'm not going to explain you how this thing of 50% works because it's just healing, bro. <laughs> That's all you gotta know. It's just some healing. Nothing important. Next one, I would say it's decent because it's scaling for the burst. So if you want to DPS with her, it's good. It's good. Sadly, I'm not a whale, so <laughs> I can't get it. But it's decent. If you got her C2, you know, and you really like her, might as well go and get a C3. The C4. Well, this one, it's meh, meh, and when I say meh, I really mean meh, because you get just some attack speed and some energy, like, it's good, but if you got good artifacts, like, not this one, but let's say this one that you have energy recharge and all, or let's say you got her weapon, you really don't need her C4. Now, let's go because I'm done with this. I really don't have anything special to say about her C4. A very weird constellation, but okay. Her C5, just scaling for the jelly. So, uh, it depends if you want, let's say, a DPS or a support Kokomi. But, again, nothing out of this world. Nothing that it's a must get. But now, we go to the C6. The constellation that I would say, it's good. But the only problem is the C6. Congrats, Mihoyo. You make players go to the C6 to get an actually good constellation. Basically, you'll, you'll just get 40% hydro damage. And you see all these details, 4 seconds, etc. They don't matter, because uh, Kokomi is going to heal anyway, and her burst... It's just for 10 seconds, so <laughs> you're going to get the full effect of it no matter what. So if you're someone that went to C5, first off, disgusting, okay? Disgust. After that, what I can tell you is, if you went so far to C5, you can go to C6, you know? At least this con is a good constellation. So, now, after being done with the constellations, we can go to talk about uh, her options. What can you do for her? Well, I'm not going to lie to you. You have only two options. You either go DPS or you go support. What I'm going to go first with is DPS because mine is a DPS, you know, so I have more knowledge to the DPS Kokomi. I can say I tried it more, but don't worry. I'm going to talk about support after this. So, for DPS Kakomi, you here you have the passive talents. They don't matter. You can say this one matters because you you know that healing bonus matters. 
you know that's pretty much it oh yeah this one yeah you really don't need need that one if you go dps all you need to know for the talents is upgrade this and this the auto attack and the burst the jelly you can leave it at level six and that and then you're done but let's say you really like the jelly let's say you really like the damage that he does while you're in or in your, in your burst grow it you know but i'm not going to recommend it because i'm sure that maybe people that want to save their resources are watching this and if you want to save your resources level six or yeah level six okay don't go to level five Le level six at the very least and that's it huh? that's it crown crown six if you want dps for the artifact sets well even though you don't have a lot of options you still got got some and i hope you got at least one set the sets that i'm going to to tell you to use are this one this one this one and this one don't worry i'm going to explain some people say using this one is good no this one is not good in my opinion so i i won't advise you to use this and this as well i won't talk about it because it's not working on her okay it's not for me this is the best set four piece heart of death because you get 30 percent more you can see it right there but let's say you don't have heart of death the four piece you can go two piece heart of death two piece middle just the two piece because the four piece it's support i will explain it in the support part but you want the extra hp it's always good this set as a four piece you should take it as a four piece the wanderer strobe again it's for the extra charge attack etc but it's not the best but you know if it's the only one you got might as well use it until you get one of these two and maiden beloved again it's a set that i'll tell you to use only if you use the two piece the two piece it's okay because the healing effectiveness it's actually healing bonus so you gain 50 percent meaning it's actually good it gives you more damage so if that's your only option go for it huh? as for the feather you know hp percent energy recharge oh yeah also attack percent is not good uh, you might as well go for hp flat because hp flat is better than attack percent so just keep that in your head okay when you try to build her. hp percent hp uh, flat and percent both are bad again the sand hp again you'll want the hp flat elemental mastery energy recharge you know all the story for the most damage the goblet hydro hp can be good if you don't have a hydro one but i really recommend getting hydro because it's really bad and for the crown healing bonus just trust me healing bonus is better because it goes back to this and the best thing with a healing bonus set is you can have substats of both hp flat and hp percent i know me i don't have it huh? unlucky you know unlucky rubber ducky i don't have it but i will far for one in the future now this is pretty much the artifacts you saw what you can play huh? and i'm going to do a reminder just to be sure this one this one this one this one pretty much it you know very straightforward now for the weapon if you want a dps this weapon is your best free play option you can make it very easily r5 but oh okay you are not lucky the, let's say the gacha gods hate you and they didn't give you the thing to be able to craft it okay then you can play this weapon because it gives hp the passive is not the best but still gives hp if you don't have this one 
the last options that you have is Doroko Tails or this weapon. I know these are disparate weapons, like attack percent is not is really not good, but you know, just look for a good pass if you if you can get HP. And also for this weapon, if you can vaporize, I would say get it. Huh? But me, since I really struggled to vaporize with her, I, I don't want it. Huh? I just took the safe option of a prototype amber. Oh yeah, and also for everlasting moon glow. I don't have it, but it's the is the is the donut. This this one. If you want this weapon, uh, it, I hope you really like it, huh? Because this weapon is really not uh, that much of a difference. It's just a glorified prototype amber, I would say. A prototype amber that gives healing bones. So that's it, huh? You can play just prototype amber and you will be good. And that's pretty much it what you can do for a DPS Kokomi. You either go HP or you don't or you just go for something desperate, you know? And this no. This no, it's really useless for DPS. I would say this is better for DPS than this. Huh? Oh yeah, and also do I need to tell you not to put crit on her? Like bro, this is basic knowledge, you will never crit, okay? Just just accept reality that you won't crit, okay? And just get an HP well. So that's pretty much it for the TPS. And we can go now to support. You've heard me people. For those of you that want to support her, this is your moment to shine. Now to go again. For the passive talents. This one actually becomes important now. How come? Very simple. Because when you play support, you want to use this set. You want to use this. And don't worry, I'm going to come back later and explain how the 4 piece of millilit works now. As you can see, this has 12 seconds. But this sub passive basically tells you. If you use your burst, this will get reset. So you can get you can get uh, 24 seconds, and the cooldown is 20. So basically, unlimited jelly. If you know how to play with her, the jelly is always going to be on the field. I know, very good. Huh? For the talent, it's how to grow her. The jelly is important. 6, 7, I will recommend. The burst, you can leave it at 1, but let's say you, you want to do damage with the, the explosion that you do. You can grow it, like, it's, it's up to you really, but I, would, I wouldn't recommend it. Again, 5, 6, huh? if it's a support, don't go high. And this, just leave it at 1, at 2, or at best 3. Because if if your Kokom is really going to be a support, you don't need to attack. You know? You're just going to put the jelly out. Then you're going to come back, burst. Then you're just going to go out and let the, the jelly do the trick. You know, as all the supports, only these two matters. For artifacts, this set is not good anymore. Only the two piece works right now. The best set, I'm going to help you. Is this? Huh? Just HP as the same. You can keep hydro damage, but since it's a support this time, you can actually go where is here it is HP percent. You know because it's not going to make that much of a difference now since you don't want to do damage with her. And as for the hat. Again, it doesn't it doesn't matter. You can either play healing bonus, HP percent. I will take HP since I feel like HP is better right now since you just want heals and agility to be on the field. But I will do it just for the homies that don't have luck and I will put this one. Let's say you are unlucky 
and you don't have an HP and just the healing bones. This one is good as well. And this is how, you know, a support Kokomi will look. But let's say you're not lucky. The gacha gods hate you once again. What you can do is two piece tenacity, two piece heart of death. Uh, and if you don't have that, is two piece maiden beloved because I will say it again. It gives you healing bones, you know, 50% healing bones. The two piece. So you either go four piece mineralif or you go a mix. That's that's the only thing you can do if you play a support Kokomi. For the weapons, this one is not good. For me, this one is the best one because not only it gives you HP, but it, this passive gives you 48 percent, 48 percent. And since I've come to this weapon. Is the perfect time to explain you why it's important to master the jelly. Simply put, if you read the four piece, you get 20% more attack and 30% more shield strength when uh, your elemental skill, in her case the jelly, does damage to opponents. So. Hooray! You are gaining 68% attack. 68%. But again, I am prepared to hear some people say, I don't have trailing tails of dragon. You know? Okay, you don't have. It. Your next option is this. You can play Favonius Codex this time. Because it gives particles for your main DPS. So this weapon and this weapon are good. Let's say you don't have Vonis Codex. I don't know what to tell you, bro. You really are, you really are impossible, you know. Take this, you know. It gives you your E back. Take this. Huh? It's going to make your life more easier. Let's see. And if you don't have this, F, you know, like rip. Uh, I'm sorry, there's not much I can do for you if you don't have any of these weapons. Oh yeah, and also for the donut, because I know you're going to ask me. But bro, if I have a support, can I play um, th her signature weapon? Uh, no, please don't. <laughs> for aesthetics, yes, it looks cool. But let's say you're a tryhard or someone that wants to get the best thing for her. Just play this, okay? Just make your life easier and play this. By the end, your Kokomi should have HP, you know, energy recharge because her burst is 70. 70. So, so I would say you need to have at least 120 energy recharge. If you have below that, well, I hope you have other supports in your team that give a lot of particles. Because that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it what you can do for a support and DPS Kokomi. Now, since this part of showing you how to build her is done, we can go to see basically how they play. It's basically showcase time. See other people. Did somebody say it's showcase time? It is. So, what we are going to go first is DPS. And I'm going to let you have a quick look of what I'm going to use. This weapon and Heart of Death, basically, with healing bones. This is basically what I'm going to go with. Okay. Now, I'm going to bring in a team that people won't say. Um, actually, it's not her doing the damage. Level 60. Level 60, bro. If you are going to say it's all Sing Cho, have some shame, bro. <laughs> Honestly, have some shame. If you're going to say, uh, wait, 
I'll, I'll take this one. If you are going to say, think she's doing all the magic. Actually, I'm going to show you, it's not him. Let me show you. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. It's crazy. Insane. Insane damage. Huh? Yeah, never mind, guys. Don't build a Kokomi. She's, she's useless. Just build a Sincho and play him alone. Let's see now. Sukro. Uh huh. Broken. Fischl? Hmm. Yeah, broken. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very broke. Hope you now won't go into the comments saying it's all official, it's all Sincho, it's all Sucros. Because it's not. Okay. Now let's go into the real showcase. Basically, all you have to do is throw their skills. No. I, it doesn't even matter the order. Just throw them, you know? Just throw them. And then, spam click. Spam left click. And you're going to be good. Wow. <laughs> or damage outside first, not gonna lie. It's pretty bad. It really is. What? There's nothing you can do about it? Oh yeah, also tell you... Uh, if you see me not doing charge attacks, it's because I have her C1, so I get the luxury of actually not be a charge attack spam bot. Huh? And now, you just go like this, like this. And for those that will say, oh yeah, in the next round you won't have your burst. Bro, don't worry, I'm going to be good either way. Huh? I'm going to be good either way. Now, it's time to play her in the second half to show people that it's not just the first half. Yeah, I'll play the same team. Yeah, I'll play the same team. In first half, I'm going to do it off camera, you know, so because I'm sure you don't care about that. Like, fuck gel. Nobody cares about gel. So, see ya in the second half. Okay, so we are back in the second half. Time to do the same thing again. Yep. We are doing the same thing. Nothing changes. As you wish, main foil. Stand clear. Animal Just drop six. this. Rain outlines your fate. Let me read you first. Hold the line. Covenant of the deep. Nothing pretty much to say. <laughs> Just onga bonga. Huh? Just pretty much on Gabonga. Oh. Already dead. Sure. Uh -huh. I will complain. Uh -huh. Not me. Uh -huh. Bad. Uh -huh. But. And that's basically. Uh, like, I really don't have anything to have. Uh -huh. no. <laughs> Bro, you're scaring me! Stop! You're pretty scary. Not good. Oh my god, you might die. Bro. Wow. You might die. Maybe. Like. I don't even need to, to dodge, huh? As you wish, Stay clear. Animal test 60 away. I don't Animal even need to dodge. Allow me. Oh my god, am I not do it? Oh yeah, I did it. And keep keep in mind for those that are going to say but yeah you had you barely did it. I barely did it. 
level 60. Mm -hmm. Yep. You are going to tell me I barely did it for a character that has level 60. I did not even try to dodge. I barely tried to dodge. Just to show you how much of a joke the Spiral Abyss is and how good a DPS Kokomi can be. Even though you have to overinvest, I'm not gonna lie, you have to overinvest. But as all the characters in the game, she can be a good DPS. So, you're welcome. It's time, boys and girls, time for Support Kokomi. We're finally done with DPS. So, before we go into the showcase, since I advised this weapon, I'm going to use it, even though it's level 40. The artifact, as I said, in my opinion, the best support set, Milalef. Oh yeah, let's go slower. This is my feather. This is my flower. I know, good artifacts. Yes. Here you can play either Hydro or HP percent. It's the same thing and here I think HP is better and I'm not taking heal healing bonus because it doesn't have energy recharge and since this one has energy recharge I'm taking it now because for a support all that matters is energy recharge a lot of HP healing bonus it's fine and this nah indifferent not really important now, for the team, I'm going to play. Uh, to let me feel. Yeah, I'm going to play this one since I really like this team. Tartaglia. I'm sure you're going to be good, bro. You don't need a team. You are the team, after all. You're so good. That's why you're going to be the next video on my channel. So, again, yeah, taking the same buff. So, this time, support Kokomi. As I said, I'm just going to use her jelly, and uh, if I want the buff of her book, when I put Kokomi on the field, I'll always have to play Ayaka next to get the buff for 10 seconds. Well, all you have to do is watch, and I'm pretty sure you'll understand what is happening. Huh? If not, unlucky. Unlucky, bro. So bad. Now, you drop the E for damage, and your DPS should do damage, that's about it. Huh? Now you come, you do this, okay, reset, perfect, yeah, perfect. And now you go again, and you do the same thing you did the first time. Yep, skill, skill, jelly. Uh huh. Nothing impressive. Nothing new. The same thing as the first time. I think it will disappear. Ah! Yeah, I don't need to see. That's why I did the DPS first because I do not play a lot with uh, support. I do not play support. And the mistake I did there is that I did Mona's burst and I didn't refresh the journey. But I'm sure that the idea. And. It's good. Like, it's it's all good. All went really well. Now, as the DPS a showcase, I will go in the second half too. And for those that wonder why don't you do this one and this one as well, the video will be too long. Okay, that's why. I could, but it's too long and it's not worth it really. And this, I'm going to play the same thing, uh, just this, so, as I said last time, see you when we are in the second half. Now, the end. Can we do it? Hmm, let's go up, bro. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Take flight! Mm -hmm. Stop for a swirl! Look, 
pretty good to me. Yep. I let it go because I don't need it. I'm good. I don't feel good. Yeah, one sec. Yes. No, bro! <laughs> let me use... Uh, let me showcase. What? That bugs? Uh, don't worry, even though I'm getting hit. It's all good. Oh my god, she died. So bad. Huh? How am I going to do this now? Huh? I hope it sounds good in the video. I don't know why Ayaka's sword sound is bugged. Huh? I don't know why. Like, can you hear it so? I hope you don't. But anyways, where that at? Sadly, Sucrose died, but it was for a noble cause. Huh? It was for a noble cause. Now, to make the resume, Kakomi is good. That's pretty much about that. If you wanna play Melelef, if you wanna play Heart of Death, it's the same. It's the same thing. The only thing that changes is the way you play her, basically. That's pretty much it. Only the play, only the way to, excuse me, you play her. And if you play her support, do I do I need to tell you with how? Pyro, Hydro, no, you say not. Electro, Animal, Cryo. All these characters. You can support all of them. All of them. Okay, besides the ones that are our sports. Let's say you want to play side of DPS. Same thing, okay? Really the same thing. Kazuha is excellent. Yula, not really since she's physical, but I'm sure you got the memo. You got the memo. No? Klee, the look, Bennett, Jangling, Amber, and that's it. Hope you enjoyed. And if you got any question, whatever the question, you're more than welcome to leave it in the comments below, and I'll answer it when I can. So thank you for watching this video, and I wish you a good day. Peace.